the forehead of your robot. Nickelodeon has made some very dark episodes of Spongebob that never made it into television or the internet, and you probably never knew about this. It's about time I tell you the truth. I was one of the people who saw one of the unreleased episodes of Spongebob, and I can tell you it was very dark and depressing to watch. It was very different and wasn't funny at all, unlike many other Spongebob episodes I have watched. This one barely included any funny jokes on it at all. It was on a serious tone. I didn't see any type of comedy on it. You may be wondering, how did I get to see this episode? Well, I decided to buy some SpongeBob VHS tapes on eBay several years ago, since I was a fan of SpongeBob at the time and I really enjoyed watching the show. One of the sales that caught my attention the most however was one that only contained the Spongebob production VHS tapes, which could mean that the seller originally worked on the production of the series in some way. I found that actually very cool, but I was wondering if the seller actually got permission from Nick to sell those tapes. However, I didn't think much of that and I eventually forgot about it. The description said that the tapes were animation tests, storyboards, deleted scenes, and unreleased episodes. I was very interested on the unreleased episodes and deleted scenes, so I have decided to buy it since I obviously did not want to lose the opportunity to get rare stuff from Spongebob. Being the only offer, I easily won the auction and agreed the shipment with the seller. A few days after buying it, I finally received the package. I opened it and took a look at the tapes, but one that caught my attention the most was a tape that was titled, Sadness. I found the title to be pretty, odd. I was pretty curious to see what contents this tape contained, so curiously, I played the video before any of the others I received. The title card then shows up. The color for the text was dark red and the shadow for it was black. There were also some visible scratches on the text. The background was a very dark pineapple background, and there were some visible small drops of blood as well as one splatter. This kind of disturbed me, honestly. The music used for the title card was happy music which was very unfitting for an episode about sadness. The opening credits had people I never even heard of. The episode started pretty normally at first. SpongeBob is watching TV when Patrick knocks on the door. SpongeBob says for him to come in, and Patrick shows him the game, Eels and Escalators. At this moment, I thought that the episode took place before the episode, Sailor Mouth, because here, Patrick was introducing the game for the first time. SpongeBob finds the game cool and is excited to play it with Patrick. However, before they start playing the game, Patrick tells SpongeBob about the rules of the game first. SpongeBob then understands and they start playing the game. Patrick keeps moving up escalators while Spongebob gets sent down the eels. After losing the game, Spongebob gets a bit sad but he later gets okay with it and tries again, thinking he was going to win this time. This is where things get worse. After many attempts of trying to win and just losing in the end, Spongebob loses his cool, goes out of character and goes on a crazy rampage, which also involved assaulting Patrick and going into Bikini Bottom causing a ruckus. You may have not heard of this word before but it means causing disturbance or commotion. Eventually, he was caught by the police and was arrested for assault and public disturbance. Spongebob, while in jail, says... Stupid Spongebob. Why did you do that? I don't even know why you had to do that. Maybe if Patrick didn't bring out that stupid game, this wouldn't have happened. Hopefully I won't be in here for too long. Maybe I'll get bailed out and go on about my day and apologize to Patrick for my terrible actions. I don't think I'll be here for that long. A time card saying, one day later, shows up on the screen for two seconds. The time cards on this episode were not spoken by the French narrator this time. It cuts back to Spongebob in jail. He says, I've been here for one day and nothing has happened. Okay, I think I have learned my lesson here. Now let's see if I can get someone to bail me out. Another time card saying, five hours later, shows up for two seconds, and it cuts back to Spongebob in jail, again. He says, Um, it's been five hours and I'm still here. I don't like it here. Boy, 
I could sure use a little snack right now, but I don't have any Krabby Patties. This is getting ridiculous. The last time card shows up on the screen for two seconds, saying, the next day. It cuts to SpongeBob in jail for the final time. He screams angrily. I want to get out of here now. I want to get out of here now. I don't like it here. I want to get out now now now. A police officer fish then comes and says angrily. Hey, shut up you cheese bastard. You got yourself a visitor. SpongeBob then comes down, becomes happy and says excitedly. Oh boy, maybe he's here to bail me out. Flats the Flounder, the character who also appears in the episode, the bully, turns out to be the visitor and threatens to kick Spongebob's butt. Spongebob gets shocked as he says. Oh my! He starts to scream. <laughs> Get away from me! I don't want my butt kicked! I can't take this anymore! Spongebob then escapes the jail, running away. It then cuts to Patrick walking on the street. What I noticed is that the sky this time was gray, meaning that it was going to rain. SpongeBob finds him. Patrick then says and really. What do you even want from me, SpongeBob? Look, I understand you're angry, but SpongeBob is then interrupted by Patrick, who says, But nothing. I personally have had enough of you for the last time. What you did at the pineapple was totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Patrick, look, I honestly didn't mean to do it. I just had a rough day that day, and I let the worst get to me. And I shouldn't have punched you in the face and send you flying out the window. I don't care about how good or bad your day was that day. I can tolerate you losing your temper on things like that. But you punching me out the window is a different story. Not to mention, I had to go to the hospital for three days. Three days! Oh, Patrick, I really want to say that I'm so, so sorry for what I did to you. I will never, ever do that again. SpongeBob, after what occurred at the pineapple, all over a game of eels and escalators, you can now consider this friendship officially over. At this point, sad piano music starts to play in the background. Things were going to become really depressing now. SpongeBob becomes shocked at this, as he says. What? Patrick? No, I don't want to end our friendship. You've been my best friend for so many years, and I don't want anything bad to happen. Please, please, please. No, I will never become friends with you again. We're just not compatible anymore. Goodbye, you cheese bastard. Patrick then begins walking away as SpongeBob says in a very shaky voice, as he was ready to start sobbing uncontrollably. Goodbye, Mr. Best Friend. <laughs> SpongeBob then sits on the street, crying as he screams Patrick's name. He then screams. Why did I have to do this, Neptune? Why? Sandy then comes in and asks. What is going on, SpongeBob? SpongeBob then explains. I lost my best friend over my anger issues, but what really ended our best friendship was when I assaulted him and threw him out the window. Well, SpongeBob, it's no surprise that you lost your cool over a game of eels and escalators. Wait, how do you know about this? SpongeBob asks. Patrick told me everything that happened and SpongeBob. I am appalled by your actions. I would never assault my best friend over losing a game like that. SpongeBob, after what you did to Patrick, I'm to ending this friendship. Goodbye, you little bastard. SpongeBob becomes more sad than before, starts to cry uncontrollably, screaming. No, I lost Sandy. No, 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 no. <laughs> It then starts to rain, as SpongeBob runs away crying loudly. The screen then fades to black instead of using the bubble wipe transition like always, and the sad piano music faded out. I found this episode to be very depressing. It wasn't like any other episode of SpongeBob I've seen, this one was actually on a serious tone. There weren't any jokes here or there. This one was well written and did a great job on being a sad episode.
I really wanted to see what would happen in the end. It fades to a new scene, with SpongeBob coming from his home, very depressed. He says, I never thought I'd lose my best friends. At least I have you Gary, right? Gary then becomes shocked when he sees SpongeBob. He immediately runs away from his home as SpongeBob chased him, screaming. Gary! Come back! Gary! SpongeBob then stops chasing Gary. He screams. I thought we were friends! Why, Gary? Why? Ah! Ah! SpongeBob then returns to his home, crying even harder. He says, How did Gary know what I did? SpongeBob then looks at his TV, only to find out that there were news talking about him, who escaped from prison, assaulted Patrick, and caused public disturbance in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob receives a call from his parents, who told him to come to their house and stay there for a long while because they wanted to ground him, but also talk to him first. SpongeBob lies, saying he's going to come there at that moment. He then runs to his bedroom, crying. He looks at the window with a depressing look on his face. He says, I can't believe it. I just can't believe this. I lost all of my friends because of what I did to Patrick. Patrick was my best friend, we did so much stuff together such as jelly fishing, going on trips, pranking each other and other people, and all that fun stuff. And now, this has now ended, thanks to my terrible actions and anger issues, and I have no best friend left. Why do I have to lose everything in life? Why? That's it. I've had enough of this horrible life. Now it's time to do what's necessary. SpongeBob then hears Squidward calling his name. SpongeBob turns around with an angry look on his face. He asks what Squidward wanted. Squidward tells him to stop acting suicidal and accept the fact that what he did was wrong and that he needed to pay the consequences. SpongeBob tells Squidward that he does not understand what he's going through. Squidward says that he knows exactly what he's going through. He said that he knew everything that occurred that day. But SpongeBob asks what Squidward was doing in his house. SpongeBob thought that Squidward hated him and would leave him be. Squidward says he normally would, but he admitted he didn't like to see a guy like SpongeBob with depression and suicidal thoughts, so he wanted to help. SpongeBob tells Squidward to shut up as he got a solution to his problem, which is suicide. Squidward becomes shocked and tries to stop him, but SpongeBob quickly runs outside, which was still raining at the moment. This time, the raining was a lot stronger and there were really strong winds outside. Squidward chased SpongeBob as fast as he could, calling his name. But when he reaches him, he was at the top of a mountain. Squidward tells SpongeBob to stop, and that suicide was not the solution to his problem. SpongeBob disagrees and says, I don't have anything to do in my life now Squidward. I did something wrong, caused public disturbance on a city, no one likes me anymore, and now, what do you expect me to do? I don't want to live this new life of mine anymore Squidward. I just don't want to live anymore. My life is no longer as happy as it used to. I just want to end all of this already Squidward. I just want to. Squidward runs after SpongeBob to grab him before he falls, but it was already too late. The strong winds made SpongeBob fall before he even jumped out of the mountain. Squidward screamed loudly. SpongeBob, no! Right before he hit the floor, the screen glitched for 27 seconds, with loud distortion, static sounds playing on the background. When the distortion started, you could faintly hear blood splattering and a disgusting crack, which sounded like SpongeBob's bones breaking. Before the glitching stopped, a message appeared on the screen for a split second, saying, I have found peace. The glitching then finally stopped. A message faded on the screen and stayed there for five seconds, saying the following, Suicide is not an answer. It's destruction. I was really shocked at how incredibly depressing this episode was. I actually cried at the end. I never thought a SpongeBob episode like this was produced, but now I know that it was. I am glad they didn't put this on the air, but really, they could have made the ending for this episode more light-hearted, but no, they didn't. 
I thought that the executives decided to cancel the episode, as they felt that what had been produced was too dark for young viewers. I just wish I could contact the seller for more information about the episode, but the eBay page for the tapes was already gone since I bought it. Another thing I noticed is that the opening and closing credits included a bunch of random people that were not credited on the previous episodes of the show. Only a small amount of these people were actually credited in the later episodes of Spongebob, but my question is, who are those people? Not to mention that many of these didn't appear on the credits of many of the later episodes, meaning that they could have possibly been fired after working on such a dark episode. I don't think my question will ever be answered.